Day seven without sports. I'm fine. We're fine. I am not okay. Hey guys, it's Josh, the 90 Know It All, coming to you today to talk about baseball and how we're not watching it right now. Uh, but guys, before we jump into that, I do want to say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. We are still up and running because of the people who are supporting us on Patreon. Uh, if it weren't for that, honestly, I don't know that we'd be going on, um, continuing on, because they've been really the foundation of support right now. They're also, because of their support, allowing us to try something new. We're going to jump in, I'm going to jump in and do podcasts. Now, I've got an individual who uh, wants to be a part of it. He wants to get on there and then be someone who can reach out to the people he knows to help bring them on so I can talk with other individuals. Some great names. I'm very excited about that. Kelly and I are going to test it out later this afternoon with him calling in. I did the first podcast yesterday. Uh, you guys, you can find the link to find it on Spotify and Google Play right now on the website. It's on the right-hand column. Um, but, you know, I'm excited for that. Also, guys, I've made some adjustments for businesses that want to sponsor uh, 90 Know It All monthly. So I've got the $25 one where you actually can get your uh, image put on the site. And so anyone can click on it and actually be connected to a link to your website. Uh, right now we have one sponsor that's Gold Card Auctions. I am so thankful to them being the first one to jump out there. I got that going for them. And, you know, once again, go onto the website. If you scroll down just a little bit on the main page, you'll see the image Gold Card Auctions. Click on it, it goes to their website. Uh, any posts that we put out, it's right there on the side as well. So if you are a business owner and you want that, $25 a month, for $50 a month, you know, you, you get that image again once a you know, just set there all the time, link to your website, but you also get an ad, a post or a tweet created on our Facebook page and our Twitter Twitter account once a month. Uh, that's just a part of the deal we get. It's our way of saying thank you to you. $75, this is the new one. If you wanna be one of the main sponsors of the podcast, $75 a month and every podcast I mention your business and tell you, say thank you, let people know what your business is about. So uh, that's in, available as well. Plus you get, once again, all the other stuff from the 25 and the $50 a month sponsors. And then the $100 a month one is the big one where you get to have your image on the website. We do stuff for you on Facebook and Twitter, and you become one of the main producers for every single video on Not Any Know It All. And once a month, you actually get to choose the topic. So if you're a baseball card shop that wants me to talk about a certain set, I'll talk about it. That's that's what I'm going to do for you for sponsoring me. So uh, those are up on the Patreon page. The link is down in the description below. But guys, that's enough of that. Let's let's jump into something baseball related. And it's been kind of tough. You know, I'm a stay-at-home dad. I've been that way for almost two years. So I'm used to being home, used to having... You know, the grocery shopping duties, the cleaning duties, all that stuff. I'm, I'm used to it. Not a big deal. But what is different now is that there's just nothing to talk about or go do sports-wise. I mean, during the off-season, even though I don't have games to go watch, there still is stuff going on. There's other sports going on. So even though I'm not a big football, basketball guy right now, um, I still watch them, still enjoy them at least it gives me something else to do and focus on all the trades, all the signings, all that stuff is going on right now. There's nothing. It's just, it's dead air and it's tough. So I've been kind of struggling. I know a lot of people out there have been struggling. Athletes have been struggling, you know, college players who had their season cut short, high school players who had their season completely cut off entirely. Uh, just, it's been rough for a lot of people. So the goal for, for what I'm going to do on YouTube right now is just going to have some fun topics. I've got a handful of things I want to show you guys, talk about. A little bit about the history of 90 Know It All, just to give us some fun talk, stuff to talk about. The podcast, like I said, is going to be a lot more focused on me interviewing and interacting with other people in the game of baseball. So, so hopefully that turns out to be uh, working just fine. I know it'll be a lot of fun as long as the technical side of things work out. So guys, today I want to show you 
the very first press pass that I really ever got as a 98 know-it-all person, and that is to spring training. I don't know if you guys can see it. Boom. Uh, and it says Satan Kaiser Volcanoes because that's who I was connected with uh, in order to get the press pass. But I got my first ever press pass to spring training. It was 2011, and it was with the Giants. They had just won the World Series, got to be in there, and I'll be honest, this kicked things off because I'd been toying with the idea of doing um, a website, a baseball-focused website at this time, but not even know it all hadn't started yet. I didn't, I didn't start it officially until July, but I'd been kicking around the idea, and when I went down to Phoenix, which if you guys know me, I love going down there for baseball, spring training, fall ball, just amazing. I got down there and it was so much fun. It was so much fun to walk into the clubhouse and just start talking to guys. Uh, I got to talk to Ryan Vogelsong, who had been in Japan and he'd come back. He actually had went through the Giants system initially, but he was talking about how he hit one home run because he's a pitcher, so he doesn't hit home runs, but he hit one home run over there, only one of his career, and it was off like the top pitcher in all of Japan. And it made like front page news for every sports page, every news outlet pretty much because of what he did. And so we sat and talked about that for a little while. And I didn't have my voice recorder going at that point because it was just a conversation. And it was so much fun. And it, it kind of sparked me. And I talked to a few other guys who were in the giant system when I was down there. And it was just so exciting for me to be a part of that, to be able to do that and to see that, yes, I could do that. I could you know, actually get out there and interact with the players. So so even though this wasn't officially a nine inning know-it-all uh, press pass, it, it's really what got nine inning know-it-all kind of kick-started in terms of me just believing that I could do it. So um, I was a part of the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes. I was an intern there. I was actually doing uh, my bachelor's and my master's at the time, and, and I was doing projects for those two degrees. And the volcanoes let me come in and do that. I got to meet a lot of awesome people. In fact, I just had a Twitter huge conversation with a number of the guys that I got to meet while I was a part of the volcanoes group. And, you know, it's just, it's fun. It's great memories. You know, it's something that I'll always have, always remember. Uh, the first, like, I think five or six uh, articles written on 90 Note All, other than the very first one, which was me just saying, what baseball means to me was actually about like pregame or series updates for the volcano. So kind of fun, kind of exciting, means a lot to me. Um, like I said, it, it was my first official press pass uh, to get, especially with it being a major league team. It was, I don't know, it was pretty cool for me. So I've got other press passes. I'm going to talk about those at some point, um, probably one by one. So it, just because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to go through all my stuff too fast because we're running out of information, and things to talk about. But at the same time, I want to share with you guys different things. I know the next video I'm going to do is actually talking about why I do photography of games and why I give away so many photos. Um, sneak peek. Yeah, that's me, way back when, and that's one of the few photos I have of me in baseball. So, you know, obviously you can see where I'm going with that. A lot of stuff. I actually have this ticket as well. Let's see if it pops up. There we go. Has quite a bit of significance. I'll explain that in another video, but I thought I'd throw it up there and show you guys a little sneak peek. Uh, once again, to my Patreon supporters, thank you so much. Not any know-it-all is up and running still because of you. I know this is kind of a difficult time for a lot of people, but you guys are still standing by me, and that means a lot to me. It means a lot. Uh, gives me hope. Gives me kind of that encouragement to keep going and trying new things. And you know what? I talked with someone just the other day and they thought, you know what? Now you know it all is really on the verge of just really taking off. I mean, we've already got a pretty good following, but I think we have a chance to really go even bigger. So I hope so, guys. Going to keep pushing through this. This is day seven. And uh, if you guys, I don't know if you can tell, I don't think I've shaved in like four or five days. No games to go to. Not going out in public. Why shave? Eh. Eh, why shave? So, guys, I'm Josh, and now you know it all. Thanks for listening, and uh, 
you know what? Stay safe. Wash your hands. Try and stay indoors at your house as much as possible. And if you guys need anything, if you need to talk baseball or just talk life, contact me. You know what? I got nothing else to do, really. Talk to you later. Bye.